If you're burgled, attacked or a victim of crime, would you like to meet the man or woman that did it? Well, many people do. And increasingly, there's evidence that the practice of what's called restorative justice is good for the victim and good for the offender. It allows the person who suffers the crime to come to terms with the offence and it can get the offender to turn away from crime altogether. Malcolm Shaw reports from Sussex, which has spearheaded the use of restorative justice. Um, this is where he came in through the window here. He, he put a screwdriver in the bottom and jammed it up. And Tracy Clift shows me how a burglar forced his way into her home in Worthing before stealing family jewellery and other irreplaceable and deeply personal belongings. I felt really upset that I've caused you so much pain to you and your family, so I owe it to you to stop, full stop, no more burglaries. Years later, after being convicted for other burglaries, the man responsible wrote to Tracy to apologise. She agreed to meet him in Lewis Prison under the system called restorative justice. He was visibly moved by it all, uh, and I think he was fairly contrite. To be able to look him in the face and say, you know, you took this from me, this was my family's history and you took it away and we can't ever get it back and you didn't really care about it at all it was, it was a really strong feeling to, you know and i'm really pleased i did it i had to go out and get some money somehow restorative justice has been proven to substantially reduce the risk of reoffending. Molly peterson once a prolific burglar went through the process and turned his back on his criminal past as a criminal, I think you, you know there's victims of your crime, but you don't actually know the full extent to what to what actually what goes on in their head and what happens after the crime and however long it happens for. Sussex has pioneered the use of restorative justice, but take up elsewhere is patchy. Now a committee of MPs is calling for it to be made more widely available. The two things the government could do is to make sure that uh, every victim has the right to uh, restorative justice if it works in their case, if it's their choice. And secondly, uh, that the uh, money that's made available to police and crime commissioners should be linked into a sort of a national template and set of standards. Research suggests that four out of five people think that the victims of crime should have the right to meet the offender, but fewer than a third know about the current system of restorative justice. It may not be appropriate for every crime, but for some, meeting face to face offers a positive way forward for both victim and offender. Tracy Clift exchanges Christmas cards with her burglar who's working hard to stay out of trouble. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News, Worthing. Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner Katie Bourne welcomes the report and joins us now. The report says all victims should get the right to restorative justice. You agree with that, don't you? I most certainly do and under the victim's code there's an obligation on police forces as well to provide that information to victims of crime. How does meeting a person that's committed a crime against you help? Well the current criminal justice system really focuses on punishment and for some victims this is sufficient but for others they're often left feeling frustrated and they've got unanswered questions. So restorative justice fills that gap and gives them a safe and controlled environment in which they can then have further conversations with the offender and tell them how they feel and how that crime impacted upon them and their family. What are some of the cases you've worked on? Where has it really helped? Well, certainly with burglary from houses, we've seen a huge improvement for the victims particularly, um, but also, in interestingly enough, for the offenders, because usually if an offender comes in and steals from your home, they never actually meet you. But this gives them the opportunity to put a face to the person they've stolen from, and it has a huge effect, very profound, and often stops them from reoffending. But this can't be right for every victim, surely? No, it isn't. Um, many victims are very satisfied with the punishment process throughout the criminal justice system. But for those victims who are still left frustrated, who still have unanswered question, this certainly fills the gap and is incredibly powerful for giving victims back the power that they've had taken from them. 
And can the offender refuse to meet the victim? Yes, he or she can. Uh, in the first instance, it must always be victim-led, so it has to be something that the victim wants to do. The victim doesn't want restorative justice, it doesn't happen. But then once the victim comes forwards and says, yes, I'd like to meet the offender or offenders, they, the offenders, if they're known, are then approached. And you have to get their permission as well, otherwise it won't work. Katie Bourne, Sussex Police and Crime Commissioner, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you.